Up next on the 80s Nostalgia Midweek episode, Derek Findas. Hello everyone, I'm Derek Findas, and I'm here to take part in an interview but no one from the 80s Nostalgia podcast could be bothered to get on a bus and visit the studio. No, they just faxed over the questions. Not very professional, I would say. Although, now I'm interviewing myself, I'm definitely the best person for the job. The fax says, I'm writing to you from the future. I'm currently in 2019, and I run the 80s Nostalgia podcast. I recently came across reruns of your show on YouTube, and I love it. Well, I would expect no less. I realise that a few of the words I've used may be alien to you, like podcast, YouTube and reruns. But don't be scared, let me assure you, they are very popular words in the future and they are all good. Well, that's wonderful to know. Without giving too much away, I wanted to tell you that, for the past 35 years, On The Spectrum has remained the most popular Spectrum-based show in the UK. Well done, you. Well, of course, I... I'm blushing slightly, but thank you. With this in mind, would you be able to answer the below questions so that the young people of 2019 can learn more about you? Thanks, Craig. Well, Craig, I will do my best. Our first question reads, How did you find out about the role of On The Spectrum TV presenter? Did you have to fight off any other candidates at the auditions? Well, there wasn't really an audition. A few years back, Television Scotland was taken over by a larger company. And due to a mistake made in the legal department, and the owners forgetting I worked in the basement, I ended up with a 29-year presenting contract for some reason. Hey, I'm not complaining. Although a lot of the presenters did complain. Quite a bit, actually. They still don't talk to me. Craig asks, The Spectrum is obviously the best computer, without a doubt. How many games do you own, and which are your favourites? Oh, how many games do I own? Let me think. One. Here it is. It's called Beachhead. A classic, I'm sure you'll agree. Oh. Oh. I need to update the information on my game collection. I have no games. Repeat. No games. (sighs) Our next question. When you think of the Spectrum, what is the first image that comes to mind? When I think of the Spectrum, the first thing that comes to mind is the day I bought my first ZX Spectrum. My wife Janet was furious, as I used the money we were saving to replace her mother's wheelchair, which had seen better days. So that's my first thought, a furious Janet. To let your listeners know how the Janet's mother new wheelchair situation worked out, well it was fine. She died a couple of weeks later. So, all's well that ends well. Moving on. The special effects in your show are mind-blowing. Thank you. I loved the Rampage episode where you became huge and fired lasers from your hands. I imagine shows like yours with a Hollywood film-sized budget must take a long time to make. What, the Rampage episode? There was no special effects, that was just me. As for the cost of the show, it comes in at about £14. No, that's not per episode, that's per series. Right, what's the next one? Hopefully it'll get better. Outside of work, how do you like to relax? Well, to relax, of course, I play the ZX Spectrum, but beyond that, I certainly spend a fair amount of time in my garden shed, making medieval weapons. I recently fashioned a foot soldier's pike out of an old snooker cue with a nail in the tip. Next question. You're in 1984, and yet I see you have an active Twitter account. What's that all about? Moving on. I imagine your moustache has taken a few years to grow. I'm sure you get many letters praising it. I actually do. Do you have any growing tips for a non-mustachioed man like me? A non-mustachioed man like you? If you don't actually have a moustache, are you actually a man? I'm just pointing out something subtle, yet blindingly obvious. To everyone. There were some great films in the 80s. Which have been your favourites, and who are your favourite actors? Oh, this is easy. I love amazing films like Raging Bull, Chariots of Fire, Gandhi, Amadeus, and Bad Girls Dormitory. As for actors, I like an actor that I can relate to. Manly, handsome, a real ladies' man, 
so obviously John Travolta. The next question asks, A few of my friends owned Commodore 64s. One even owned a Dragon 32. Obviously I've stopped talking to them, but should I have been more sympathetic to their unfortunate situation? Oh heavens no, you've shown enough sympathy already just by not talking to them. We need to band together at this point to end this random computer use at a grassroots level. Now, I'm not a doctor, and I'm not saying it's a brain condition, but I certainly think Commodore 64 users could benefit from a light sprinkling of electroshock therapy. Craig asks, What do you think the best chocolate bar is? As if you need to ask, Curly Whirly. It does make you drool, but it is delightful. You mentioned in one of your shows you have a time machine. Could you tell me the code to activate it, and where do you keep the user manual? Well, the code is... Wait a minute. I know what's going on here, buddy. Like I would just hand out the code 76216 just to anyone. Can't catch me out that easily, sonny boy. I wasn't born yesterday. I'm not as cabbage as as I'm a green... I'm a green... I'm not as cabbage... No, I'm not as green. There's a cabbage... And it get, Look, the point is, you're not getting the code and I'm still a cabbage. No, that's still not right. Finally, I usually watch episodes of On The Spectrum on YouTube. Which have been your favourite episodes to make, and which ones would you recommend for people to watch first? My favourite show is the one where I interviewed myself. It was a pleasure to be in my company. At least I turned up to ask the questions, unlike here where I had to ask myself. Actually, to be fair, I'd done a pretty expert job. You made an excellent choice in selecting me to interview me. Well done. I would just like to thank the team at 80s Nostalgia for having me. I'm only too happy to have my presence elevate your show's standards. Now, remember, if anybody sees me in the street, I am famous, no eye contact and certainly no touching. Just please leave me alone.